We've got the blue wheel tucked up on our rig. We've got um, 15 pounds hanging below the wheel. Our drill is gonna be running at about 900 RPM. Uh, we're gonna do a test for five seconds to test the wear and the pushing force. Time ready? All right, fourth gauge ready, Catherine? Yep. Safety glasses. And go on, Jack. A little bit of carpet melting there. Um, some significant dust around the wheel, blue dust shot out behind it. And we got a force of, shut the camera, about 24 pounds. So we've got the black wheel switched on now. Um, so we're gonna see how this one wears in comparison to the blue wheel and uh, see what the force is. So another five second run, contact. <laughs> got some carpet melting. This one's, the dust seemed to have kind of pooled and we burned all the way through. Uh, we'll take a closer look at the tread later. This one looks a little bit more worn. You can see some of the blocks are rounded off a little bit. This one, they're kind of more square. We'll, uh, we'll take a caliber to that later and, and see how they fared. What was the force number? We got 20 pounds of force. The white wheel on now, force gauge, timer. Three, two, one, crunch. Five seconds. We got for a uh, force? Up 18 up. pounds of force. 18, all right. And for a tread wear, it looks basically the same as it started. Um, there's a little melty spot there, not too much. Um, yeah, the wheel looks basically new as compared to these two where the teeth are still square, but a little bit lower. And this one, they starting to round off. There's our three wheels. We can see the results from our wheel tread lifespan performance testing. The white wheel had the lowest force, but saw almost no wear. The black softer compound wheels had a higher force, but we started to see some wear. The blue softest compound wheels had an even higher force and even more wear. So then you have to do one radius. This one's my favorite. 